Are you trapped here by the rain? I happen to be waiting for someone too. I am Chun Li, your wayfinder. Don't worry, the rain won't last much longer. Our destination lies just beyond it. Rover, what do you know about Mount Firmament? There is a certain folk tale. Have you heard of it? While hiking in the mountains, a woodcutter came upon two people playing Weichi and became enthralled with their game. Upon his return home, he found a world transformed. Everything was different, as if in a new reality. That mountain was a secret realm, where time worked differently. The woodcutter only spent half a day inside, but outside, a century had passed. Mount Firmament is such a place. But unlike this folktale, there is a price to pay for entering and exiting its grounds. If I spend a full day in the mountains, ten days will be taken off my lifespan upon my leaving, reflecting the actual time that has passed outside. Not to mention, the situation on Mount Firmament right now is probably even more complex than before. The strange time patterns of Mount Firmament are tied to the Sentinel's temporal mandate. Time ebbs and flows at its will. If the Fraxidus really has imprisoned our Sentinel, causing it to lose control of its powers, that could explain the temporal disruptions. Which means Mount Firmament is basically a dead end, with no way out. Lifespan is not the top of my concerns. If you've decided to venture there, I'll join you as your Wayfinder. Jin Shi has stayed on Mount Firmament for too long. She doesn't miss a thing, does she? Before Jin Shi left for Mount Firmament, scales began appearing on her body, and her resonance ability was weakening. Those signs pointed to a dire situation for the Sentinel as well. That's why I must lead you there. You might have the key to solving our dilemma. You're here because I invited you. Sanhua was instructed to disclose my whereabouts if you ever went to City Hall and asked about Jin Shi. It's no surprise that you went to City Hall for answers, considering your memory loss and Jin Shi's prolonged absence. I need 
to tell you the truth. Because you've been the top priority. No, the sole concern of our enemy, the Fraxidus. That overseer tried everything to sway you and make you join their side before our battle with the reviving Thranodian. It's a clear sign that your involvement could disrupt their plans, especially at Mount Firmament. Records at the Grand Library tell a tale of someone who dared to enter Mount Firmament after the Sentinel's descent, and they emerged unscathed, as if time had no hold on them. They were also said to have stood alongside the Sentinel. And here before me stands someone who bears an uncanny resemblance to that very individual. Is it you? If not you, who else could it be? It took me some effort to finally reach this conclusion. Rover, the journey ahead is filled with danger at every turn. Once we venture into the mountains, there's no turning back. Are you sure you still want to join me? As your Wayfinder, I'll lead you to your destination. What you do after that is entirely up to you. The rain is subsiding, and the sky will soon clear. It's time for us to head out. We're at the base of Mount Firmament, but we won't enter the temporal barrier until we cross the luminous shore. Shall we proceed? The storm is coming. Some people must be itching to pounce.